Let's work through another type of dose calculation problem that you can find in our comprehensive dose calculation workbook available at levelupRN.com. In this problem, our patient is receiving lactated ringers at 125 milliliters per hour. They are also receiving metronidazole IV piggyback every six hours in 100 milliliters of fluid running over 30 minutes. And we need to figure out our patient's IV fluid intake over 24 hours. So our patient is getting their continuous infusion except when they're getting their IV piggyback. So we need to first figure out how much time within 24 hours they're getting their IV piggyback. Per our problem statement, our patient is getting their IV piggyback every six hours, which means they're getting it four times a day. And each time it runs, it runs over 30 minutes. So 30 minutes times four times within a 24 hour period equals two hours. So within a 24 hour period, for two of those hours, the patient's gonna be getting their IV piggyback, and for the remaining 22 hours, they'll be getting their continuous infusion of lactated ringers. So now we can figure out how much fluid the patient is receiving from their continuous infusion. So for 22 hours a day, they are getting lactated ringers at a rate of 125 milliliters per hour. So if you multiply this out, you end up with 2,750 mLs. That's the amount of fluid they're getting from their continuous infusion. And then from their IV piggyback, they are getting 100 milliliters each time they receive their medication. And they're getting their medication every six hours, four times a day. So 100 milliliters times four equals 400 milliliters. So if you add up 2750 and 400 milliliters, you end up with 3,150 mLs. And that is their total fluid intake from their IV medications as well as their IV fluids. If you're an auditory or visual learner, then you're in luck because I go through every single example problem in this book and you can have access to those videos with the purchase of our dose calculation workbook.